Hello! Welcome to another Planetside 2 stream. It's going to be the first of our summer streams. Uh, we're going to show you guys off some of the summer stuff that we've been working on. Uh, but before I get into the details of what's going to be on the stream, just wanted to uh, let everybody know that we realize some of the issues that are going on on live, uh, and, and we hope you're having a lot of fun on there. We've been working very hard on a hotfix to, to sort of address some of those those issues. There's like giving infravision working again. There's some issues with, with construction. Uh, uh, there's just been some problems with our data build process. And uh, so there, you saw that there was some stuff on test that you guys uh, gave us bug reports for. We were able to get fixes done. We got them deployed to test. Uh, we're seeing those bug reports. So please, they've been incredibly helpful. Continue to submit those bug reports. Uh, but we, we want to make sure that uh, we get as many of these fixes over to live as soon as possible, but there, there's definitely some issues that are preventing us from getting it to live today. These guys have been really busting their ass trying to create this, this hot fix, but we just couldn't quite hit the mark to get it out today. So it's, you're going to be seeing uh, uh, fixes for a lot of these problems going out to the game early next week. Yeah, I, we have we have an update pretty much ready to go. Yep. 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 So now we get some more time to <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> to a little bit more up. time to try to squash a couple yeah. more of those bugs, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we didn't quite hit the mark uh, for that. We definitely don't want to destabilize the game further before there's the Community Smash event that's going to be right. happening tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so wh wh what are some of the stuff that we're going to be covering on this stream? We're going to talk a little bit about the update that just came out. This is Nick. He's the uh, producer of Planet Side 2. Oh, uh, yeah. Over yeah. here is uh, <laughs> Drew. He's hey. a game designer, and uh, I'm a game designer as well. Sorry. I, I, <laughs> I missed my I mark there's, there's, the there's a whole lot to talk about. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk a little bit about the, uh, the, the update that just came out. We're going to show you some of the holiday items that we're going to be adding to the game for the for the summer coming up here. We're going to be showing off some of the new implants that are coming to the game soon. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about the spawn system improvements. Uh, potentially, you yeah. guys are going to be getting a whole lot of details about uh, how that spawn system is going to be Actually, that is up on changed. Reddit right now. It's up on Reddit? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen it yet. I hope everybody's playing nice. Uh, but uh, yeah, we <laughs> want to do something kind of uh, a little bit experimental with the community. And you have basically what's uh, what is a game design doc just sitting in front of you for the uh, the public to see. Took a lot of the uh, the lingo. Actually, I'll, I'll just talk about it later. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let's not get into the details quite yet. Yeah. Uh, we might talk a little bit about the next alert that's going to be coming to the game. Uh, and I hope you guys are really enjoying the uh, aerial anomaly alert. Uh, we're, we we might show off a new stop. Oh, I, I won't. Okay, we'll 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 talk about it later. We're going to be taking your guys' questions during the stream, so go ahead and start asking your questions right away. We're going to do our best to try to pull some of those questions out and address them as the stream is going on. And as always, we're doing a, a giveaway during or several giveaways during the the stream. So you just need to be active in chat, and uh, I'll call out whenever we're going to run one of the raffles. And uh, you can type whatever you want. You can type something nice about Drew. Uh, maybe this time <laughs> that, that that qualifies you. Maybe yeah. gets you a little bit of bonus on on whether you could win or not or not. Uh, so yeah, just go ahead and, and uh, be active in chat, and you'll be qualified for those raffles. And you mentioned to ask questions, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll uh, go ahead and ask those questions yeah. in chat, and we'll be doing our best to try to answer some questions during the stream. Yeah, uh, and we're gonna. We're, we're we're trying to focus on uh, on questions because in past streams we've we've kind of let the questions like be at the end. I mean sometimes we'd, we'd pepper them in between. Yeah. But uh, we're we're making a focus. Get the questions. Answer the questions. So do do good questions. <laughs> Throw good <laughs> questions in chat, please. So yeah, now that we've done our introductions and and got to run down some of the topics, uh, I wanted to also point out that we know about some of the performance issues that have been affecting uh, uh, the game from from all different sides. Uh, we've been having infrastructure problems, and, and uh, we, we've had Prompt Critical has been on Reddit a little bit telling you guys about some of the details that are affecting specifically infrastructure that's in Europe. Uh, we've had some issues that are affecting our zone server performance that's uh, purely on the server side, and there's some stuff that's been affecting the game from the client side. Uh, we're, we're really starting to get some really good leads on a lot of these uh, performance issues, and we're getting a lot more resources that are dedicated to improving performance in planet side. So. Uh, in the next several updates, you guys can be looking forward to some performance improvements coming to the game. Uh, so yeah, uh, with that, let's go ahead and kick it over to Rel to talk about one of the, some of the details of the most recent update that came to the game. Okay, yeah, so if you haven't played since Tuesday, uh, Tuesday we re released a, a massive update. Nine probably pages? Yeah, 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 well, it, so it was nine <laughs> pages in my Word doc uh, with 11-point Calibri font. Just, just saying. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that's all live now. It was a massive, uh, or it's a yeah, reworking it of construction. It didn't fit in one forum post. It yeah, took multiple yeah. forum <laughs> posts. Uh, 
so we, we reworked construction uh, a great deal. Uh, Drew has been uh, like con like in the community, talking with people, getting feedback, and just every step of this this uh, process. And it's been a lo good learning experience not only for for him, but it's been a good experience for the the community as well to kind of have that uh, that interaction with um with uh, the development team. So yeah, so it's good work, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. and I, I think feedback. it's turned out <laughs> turned out well, right? Yeah, it's been going pretty well. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Orbital strikes. Orbital strikes. <laughs> I've uh, I've gotten a lot of really positive feedback from the uh, the yes. people who fire off the orbital strikes. So <laughs> things are going that's great. A, that's a good way to put it. Um, yeah. So construction got a revamp. Um, there was some uh, foundational work done for for squads and uh, the the UI work behind squads, which will be a, a big focus of our next update, along with the uh, the spawn uh, changes. Not sure they'll they'll hit uh, the next update at the same stride, but um, but that's that's our our motivation right now. What was that? Someone plugged something into their computer. <laughs> All right. All right, oh, okay. Sherwin. <laughs> uh, so uh, what else What else are we doing? Uh, did you want to? <laughs> I have it written down. Hold on. Um, oh, okay. We'll, we'll let you finish talking <laughs> about the details of the game. And we added the um, we added an event system to, to Planet Side 2. So uh, what happens is every, so when a continent unlocks and is stabilized, then you'll get through a charging period where uh, events are, are coming in. And uh, some of that is, um, some of them are facility alerts, uh, kind of throwback from from old school planet side, uh, and then we also uh, unveiled a new anomaly alert, which uh, people have been really digging so far. Definitely some some performance, uh, you know, it's it's not making things better, but uh, but the alert people are digging it. Certainly some adjustment adjustments that we can be uh, that we can make. So regarding you know where the anomalies spawn and and uh, the the scoring and pacing that sort of thing, uh, and we'll we'll look to doing that in a uh, future update and then meltdown got some adjustments as well it's now winner take all all the rewards got increased and you guys are getting implants out the uh out the rear end <laughs> so that was the last update cool and I, we have a question about the last update with these new battle rifles that went into the game i've noticed yeah. that there's already some concerns about their balance and specifically to the dragoon yeah uh, yeah no well i uh, so we're gonna we're gonna let it play out for a little bit. Uh, there are some changes coming to the explosive ammunition for the dragoon in that its uh, minimum damage range is, is being taken, uh, or the the arming distance is, is going away. The uh, there there's actually a like a hidden penalty uh, in velocity that's going away as well. It's just something that was an oversight. And then there's um, God, there's there's another change. Oh, and it does like less friendly fire damage. So some it's just some minor stuff, but we're gonna let it uh, play out for a little bit, and then we'll be tweaking the right uh, the battle rifles as a whole, all together uh, at a later later update. And then I think well we won't wait for that one. Uh, he mentioned a couple of the changes that'll be coming to the aerial anomalies. Uh, we're, uh, better yeah. improvements on like how the the spawning of the random choices of where to where the anomaly appears right, is one right. of them. Yeah, so anomalies right now they're they're using a very rudimentary uh, spawning system, and then there's just a bunch of like a pool of random locations and it picks, you know, uh, out of that pool. Um, unfortunately, the anomalies can appear in the same spot. They can appear on the like the same side of the map uh, and that sort of thing. So uh, we're gonna be uh, making some more uh, just more more elegant uh, changes to to how how those anomalies spawn. So that it's not always kind of uh, loaded into one area, and that's kind of exclus uh, exclusionary to the um, some of the other factions that you know want a shot at winning. So yeah, yeah. So some of that stuff is, uh, yeah, that'll definitely shake out. But uh, initial uh, indications seem to be that people enjoy it, and there's there's more to come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, cool. So let's move on to the next thing. You. Uh, we're, we have some upcoming holiday events coming. Did you want to yes. talk about some of the little bit of the details of, of one of these holiday events? Yeah, yeah. You know what? Okay, so last summer, well, actually, so July 4, we, we tend to do some just, uh, you know, America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> America uh, events. Yeah, we had the uh, the Freedom Bration last year. And uh, so the Jump Jets, the Freedom Thrusters are coming back. Actually, we'll, we'll throw it over to Drew's PC. Sounds oh no! Good. Yeah, do you got a light assault? Uh, no, I don't. Got a light assault. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Still on. kick it over to him. Do it quick. Do it uh, quick. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Well, I don't. I don't want to ruin everything else. Hold on. Where? where oh, there. Okay. Ah, there's the oh, freedom right, thrusters. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> all right. So. Okay. So last year, uh, if you remember the, you know, I'll, I'll go to Drew. Yeah, go see. We, so we can um, see him from uh, from both. Uh. <laughs> uh, so last year. If you remember the Freedom Thrusters, you couldn't actually see anything in first person. Now you can! 
it, it's not necessarily the same effect that's happening to I. Uh, to where? Okay. All right. Hold on. Oh, I don't. Okay. Hold on. I got this. I got this. Uh. Okay. Do it. Whoa. Okay. I gotta fix that one. <laughs> it's my bad. All right. So it's not the same free, uh, freedom thrusters as last year, or we're we're not seeing one of those effects. No. Uh, Jesus. Okay. Hold on. I just gotta fix some stuff. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. We have time. I, Do yeah. it live. <laughs> yeah. I did this just this morning. Yeah. Um. Anyway. So the the freedom thrusters are back this year. They're gonna use skirmisher jump jets opposed to uh, Icarus jump jets. That's max rank, and they um. Uh. So it's just free. It's free max rank uh, jump jump jets that have uh, America particle <laughs> effects. <laughs> America, America. That's how you say it, right? Yeah. And uh, so for the uh, for July, we're going to be doing um, so from the fourth to the eighth. We're going to do double experience for all. Uh, we are going to do uh, the uh, there's going to be some sales uh, that are that are coming out too. Probably probably infantry gear. And then we'll be doing uh, bringing back some of those holiday items. So you have the uh, uh, Jesus, flare, flare guns, the flare, flare guns, the, what is the name of the camo? Patriot camo, Patriot camo's coming back, which is, it's, I think it's a really appealing camo, but, um, then we did some new things as well. Yeah, we yeah. did. Do oh. you want to show those yeah, off? Yeah, sure, sure. Pull it out. Well. Whip it out, Drew. All right, hold on. Because <laughs> I've got them equipped over here. Okay. All right. So, uh, the first thing that we wanted to show was the water guns. No. Just, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, well, sorry. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Here, wait, yeah. I'm going to switch to vault screen. So <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. Um, so do the, um, do the, the sparkler. Okay. So we made these specifically. Uh, these are currently a work in progress. They are very much a work so in progress. So I, I teased out a, um, a wand yep. screenshot <laughs> on <Yeah>. Twitter. <laughs> What's funny is that most of the responses were just like, ah, oh, this, like, this is a new continent. It must the be. This zone. is the new yeah. tutorial area. It's yeah. like no. It's actually this is on the, top the of the tutorial that's exactly area. Exactly right in front of <laughs> in the middle of the screenshot. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so I'm sorry. That's not um, new continent it's, or. It's also new, not new magic. Tutorial. It's not sorry. a magic wand yeah, it's either. Not, yeah. yeah. It's kind of kind of magical though. Kind of magical. Um, it's a sparkler. Yeah. Uh, so ah, Jesus. The um, <laughs> so the particle effects. The the sockets are a little bit again work in progress. So they need to be attached correctly. And then there's some scaling issues on the uh, the, the TR one. It's just a little bit. A little, little bit, bit uh, there. large, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, just bam. Yep. Yep. Mine's bigger than yours. So you get a faction-specific sparkler. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. So n not too bad. Just fun little stuff, and uh, you'll. Uh, everybody's getting these for free, right? Yep. Yeah, free ones. Maybe we'll unlock some NS. Potentially. One, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. So we're thinking about doing uh, directive. Or Araxium potentially. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> probably an Araxium sparkler reward, maybe, or okay. maybe something else. Who knows? We're still we'll up see. in the air. You just have to get a thousand, eleven hundred plus kills oh, yeah, with no, the sparkler a, before the end of the event. The, uh, yeah. yeah. There you go. You have four days to do it. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> in uh, so for the for Independence Day, uh, double experience from the fourth to the eighth. But the start of that event, July 4th, also kicks off a, a summer event that we're doing. And uh, summer is going to have, uh, we're, we're shooting for a new directive line. Mm -hmm. We're shooting for, uh, well, there's probably probably going to be a bunch of cosmetics and, and sales throughout and that sort of thing. Uh, maybe bring back summer reward uh, promo code, possibly, or, or something similar. And uh, we, we're, we're playing with squirt guns. That's, there's no way around it. We're, we're playing with squirt guns. Oh, there's yeah. something else that's water-based that you guys haven't shown yet. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay. You want to switch the arrow there? Yep, gotcha. Ta -da. So right. Okay. So right now, these do nothing, except be annoying. They're just <laughs> Which being They're annoying great. Is, is great. <laughs> yeah, this is what, yeah. But we also have... <laughs> water <laughs> balloons. Water grenades. Which are factions <laughs> have faction-specific yeah. coloring? Yes, yep. they do. Yeah, lovingly crafted, faction specific, uh, water water grenades. Here, let me kick it over to your screen. All right, got this. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a, I mean, it's, it's a water balloon. <laughs> it's <what> it is. <laughs> Custom icons and everything else. Uh, and then yeah, so you'll you'll see your your freedom thrusters show up as well in your your loadout. So that'll just be a thing that uh, that you have access to. And uh, and who knows. Who knows what else we're doing? We're kind of early in the yeah. uh, the brainstorming and creation process. We have a lot of ideas, and yeah, we'll see how many of them actually come live. Yeah, I've got a, got a couple of weeks to <laughs> to get something. <laughs> yeah, it all has to go into a building so fast. Yep, yeah. yep. 
So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's cool. See what happens. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So shall we move on to the next uh, part of our stream? Do we do a giveaway first? We, we are going to do a giveaway, giveaway right now. But uh, while that's going on. I'm headed off. Yes. And we'll be bringing Paul on. Yeah. Thank you, Drew. So hey there, Paul. So yeah, go ahead and uh, make sure you have typed something in uh, chat to make sure you are uh, what's the eligible for uh, the raffle. And Roxy will have a winner for us shortly. What's up, guys? How you doing? We're doing all right. Oh, you're talking to them. Okay. Well, I'm talking to you. How are you guys doing? We're, I'm doing all okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what, you're not doing great? I'm fine. He's fine. No, we I'm wish fine. we would. Uh, we all wish we could have patched today. Yeah. We all wish we could have patched yeah. yesterday. So, but we'll be ba patching soon. And I wish I could hold this up like a shield and just like wave away your, your, uh, water. <laughs> it's like create a, a shield that just turns it into steam. <laughs> yeah. What's anyway, that noise? Uh, that recon darts. Hey, recon darts oh. are working again. Oh uh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we did a lot of bug fixes and recon darts are on there as well. What are we even talking about? We got a winner. Okay. And uh, it's killer six two six two six. Congratulations. That's a lot of kills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next part here is we are going to have you show off some of the new implants. Okay. Yeah, just a, a couple, a couple to show off. Uh, so in the next update, there's going to be a, a new batch of uh, of implants, and uh, there's that a lot of adjustments to. Sorry. There we go. A lot of adjustments to uh, some older ones as well. So sensor shield is getting buff, deep operative is getting a buff, uh, lots of things are getting a buff and or uh, changes. Uh, deep operative, now the, the new effect. So currently, or what it does on live is <laughs> basically nothing. Uh, so so now, now uh, it will, uh, whenever you spend a cumulative of 30 sec or so for rank one, 30 seconds outside of cloak without taking damage, your cloak's visibility will be reduced by 75%. So what it does is kind of, Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what it does is kind of uh, reward you for just just being sneaky and you know not taking damage. So being like infiltrator esque, and then after a certain amount of time, your uh, your your cloak will be more um, more. Vis this is the, the normal visibility because I'm taking damage. But um, but yeah. So then you'll become like super stealth, you know, for a while and 75%. It's pretty significant. Uh, I could show that off, or we could show off something else. There yeah, let's show off firewall. Okay. So there are a variety of class-specific implants also being added to the mix, and one of them is um, one of them is the ah. uh, <laughs> firewall implant, which is the only exceptional implant, uh, exceptional class-specific implant currently in the game. And what it does is, so if I if I own a turret, uh, for example, eh, okay, I'll be asked or allowed to uh, embed a firewall into the turret. And once you embed a firewall, it gets all shiny. Uh, the health pool increases by, I think it's by like 25%. And inf enemy infiltrators, so if we go to uh, Paul, if you okay. want to hack, yeah, hack my turret. So he has to first disarm that firewall uh, before then hacking it for themselves. So it just creates like a, a little bit of a buffer um, to uh, to give infiltrators some some fun stuff, especially the uh, just the, the people who like to kind of go behind enemy lines, and or the people who just like to be be helpful and and not necessarily uh, be so combat oriented. That's again just a fun thing. One of the the many that are that are coming to the uh, the game in the next update. Unfortunately, th a lot of the other ones I, I don't really want to show off right now. That's fair. That's fair. Actually, c we should we could show off like a, a no well a powerful one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Why not? <laughs> All right. Okay. So, uh, so <laughs> there's another uh, implant which is, which I'm kind of proud of. Uh, <laughs> so Symbiote is an implant that essentially acts like Nano Weave armor. The catch, catch, is that you need to be taking well, damage periodically. No, oh. I meant his his screen. Ah, you're right. That one. Yep. <laughs> okay. So Symbiote, uh. What happens is uh, it, it gives you the 20% small arms resist, does not stack with, with nano weave armor, but it does afford you an opportunity to use something besides nano weave armor, you know, in case uh, you want to go that direction. So uh, the consequence, though, is that anytime you're alive for longer than X amount of seconds uh, without taking damage, the 
the symbiote is going to gnaw at your uh, your health pool. So if you're uh, don't don't damage me or anything, Paul. We're just going to sit here and and uh, and stir. Have a, have a I nice see, chat. you've already taken one chip. Ah, uh, no, that's uh, that's just from from <laughs> Paul I had before. You. Yeah, probably. Uh, so, so twi twenty so seconds is a pretty long time. It is. Yeah, it's it's not too bad. It's just um, so you just have to take small arms damage. Yeah, and but once it starts going, it's it's pretty um, it's pretty drastic. So you you'll see the the small chunks. Mm -hmm. Symbiote starts to get hungry. But still, just getting to the front yeah. line sometimes takes a little while. Yeah. So it's it's basically like yeah, we've armor for almost free as long as you're you're constantly finding somebody to fight. Or you have ways of healing yourself. Like being a medic is a pretty good way of doing that. Right. Yeah. So so we'll see. We'll see how that shakes out. And uh, it could could receive adjustments to uh, both the time and just how often it, it nods to your health pool and that sort of thing. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's a uh, it's a very experimental concept and um, and it's I like that crunchy noise it makes yeah. whenever it hurts you. Yeah, you get the crunch and then it kind of blurs your screen for a moment just to to realize that you're you're taking some damage without it actually coming from an external source. Yep. So, uh oh, it's gonna yeah. kill you. It doesn't kill you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It, it keeps you down to, to one health. It's a smart symbiote. It, it yeah. doesn't kill its host. No. It just kind of it goes. It hibernates for a while. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, oh, what else? So, uh, what about uh, firewall? Does it work with Spitfires? Not currently, but we could do that. That yeah. doesn't seem especially broken. No, I jack up their health a little bit. Maybe. Uh, I mean, maybe we can give them some other benefits. That could be fun. Yeah. Kind of the interplay between uh, engineers and. Um, and uh, whatever other class yeah. <laughs> that is. Engineers it. and everybody yeah, else. Infiltrators. And and so yeah. And yeah, no, was like, sure. Another question now that we're Something talking about implants is uh, the kids want to know about Broodmother. <laughs> I, because I, saw, I noticed on that when we teased it or we showed off some of the implant names on a previous stream, people immediately went on uh, they went on Reddit and started speculating about what Broodmother oh. was. Yeah, no, the, uh, the top, top tier speculation was that uh, Broodmother would give you the ability to to spawn on top of your your squad leader or mm -hmm. whoever had that equipped yeah it's not the case <laughs> sorry um <laughs> it's a little bit more mundane than that but uh, i don't think it's mundane i think well, it's cool I, i'm not gonna show it off yet i still i no, think you're it, not ready yet Nah, it needs some work actually a lot of these need some work and they yeah there's a lot of uh compromises that i've kind of been forced to uh to take on with, with some of the designs yeah. but um but we've we've gotten some text since then so i, I think i'm gonna turn around and, and hit it again uh mitchell's uh, just being modest it basically ports in broodmother from dota and you play exactly <laughs> yeah, like it's her. just that it's just <laughs> that all right what else we got uh so let, well, let's did we do a giveaway or was uh, that, was that did now? We, we did a giveaway already okay um there's not one coming for a little bit Next, let's talk about the spawn system. Uh, uh, but we'll kick it over to, to Paul a little bit to talk about like, what's what some of the stuff that is going to be changed for the spawn system uh, from a technical <laughs> perspective. Or I mean, I remember looking at the design document and writing out a bunch of tasks okay. for it. But uh, well, well, yeah. well, let's kick it so back over to Rel then. So uh, the important thing about the um, go camera. Where's it? Okay, got you, got you. There we go. Uh, so the important thing about the the design doc that I'm sharing is is more that it's. Oh it's wait. It's more of a, a technical. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> no, it's just, right. just the worst. <laughs> um, it's more of a technical document that's meant to allow you to to look through and see what uh, types of changes tech need, we, yeah. we need to, to create, yeah. right? Uh, and just yeah, the, the changes to see what um, what tech we have access to now, what needs to be modified, um, and how we make that extensible or uh, give the designers more power, because uh, the spawn system right now is. From technical side, it's a little bit messy. It's there's pretty rough. Yeah, there's at least what four different areas that. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, you know, the way that we spawn NPCs, there's a ton of different like routes in the code path. Right. Uh, through there, there's a, a couple for uh, players. You know, whether you're spawning in a vehicle or s like straight into a vehicle, or you're transferring to servers or whatever. A lot of those, for uh, for whatever reason, are different parts of the code, or at least they don't sort of flow through a central location. Right. Um, you know, that's legacy tech, uh, tech debt from older games. That's just For sure. something that all all uh, engines have. So yeah. I've, I've been, when I found that originally, when I was working on something else, I was itching to uh, get in there and try and, and fix it, but it, it was never a priority. So right. now I'm excited to, to get in there and uh, give all sorts of tools to the design team to, uh, you know, make a, a fun and interesting and balanced situation. Yeah. 
because you know spawning is a, an integral part of the game when you die how quickly you get back to the fight and where you go and all that sort could of could you get your mic a little bit more in front it? of you i need to you're just, a little low just get a little bit in there that's just better get a little bit of sweet talk going on yeah how you doing <laughs> nick, nick loves the pillow talk mm. <laughs> <laughs> right so yeah spawn is is very important and it's it's sort of what uh uh keeps the pace going in the game yeah uh, and the goals specifically with with this uh, design doc is to to try to spread out the populations. Um, actually, uh, Nick reminds me of this nonstop whenever we're, we're creating uh, sort of events or, or anything crazy. Is that if you get too many people in one area, it's just it like kill it can kill the server. Yeah, I mean, not not kill the server, but but, no, get but <laughs> it, just it stresses not, not it out. Yeah, yeah, and not yeah. create an ideal experience for everybody. Right, right. Yeah. right. So uh, what we're trying to do is is distribute the populations uh, as as often as we can and try to create um, more balanced fights uh, at the same time because that's uh, if there's if there's any silver bullet, any silver bullet to to zerging, which I, I just we're defining here loosely as uh, just having way too many players uh, of one faction in a, a region. Yep to where the fight is imbalanced, uh, it is probably through the, the spawn system because half of those players are just, um, they're doing whatever you, you tell them to do and just the, the path of least resistance. Exactly. So if we kind of, if we're moving, if we're making the, the least resistant path one that's, you know, moving you elsewhere, th that'll that'll help with that a little bit. Right, um, But we ultimately everyone wants to be in like an interesting fight. Right. You know, balanced, like yeah. uh, uh, with like a fair amount of people, but not like you know seven hundred people in one fight. Right. While that yeah. it can be fun, yeah. it, it tends to uh, stress a yeah, lot. Yeah, you of only see out. like thirty of them at the same yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> that's everybody else just appears and disappears. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's that's kind of the direction we're going. Uh, interested in seeing what you think of just not not only the uh, where we're going with the spawn system in general, but the just putting that the documentation forward is kind of a leap of th faith for us uh, to the community yep. to, to see. How <laughs> See how you handle it. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, people we'll people tend to um, uh, understand design uh, d documents and such a bit better than like programming tech documents and stuff. Like, oh yeah, I can see where he's going with that. Yeah, but yeah. you know, it, there's there's a lot more going on than what's in the documents. There's a lot of discussion and factors right. in play. So it's it's yeah. not like just oh yeah, we didn't think of that. Yeah, yeah. No, I if anything, the, the documents are like a, a starting point to, yeah. uh, to jump off of. Yeah. What else have you been working on, Paul? So I've been working on a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff for the lovely Planet Side players. Um, over the last like month or so, I've been working on a lot of tech for the anomalies. Um, not only uh, uh, helping Rel work through some of the the Lewis script to like make them or er, make them work in the first place, but I created a new metagame type that uh, gathers resources and actually talks between the zone and the world for uh, it. Metagames are are alerts yeah. essentially. Yeah. Yeah. The the alerts the uh, continent, uh, the stabilization, all that sort of mm -hmm. thing. Any sort of like zone-wide event, except right. they're actually uh, server side or yeah. server-wide instead of just individual zones. Mm -hmm. But um, we, for the anomalies, um, we have, as you may have noticed, a, a little indicator on the heads-up display and on the map. Um, and I went in and made a, a generic system for that so that it'll be easier to put in more stuff later. Um, Making it easier to create things is always a good good idea. Um, there was an issue uh, where players would appear before they had finished loading in, and so they could spawn and die before they even got there. Um, we have since fixed that. Um, you you only appear in game after your load screen has dropped. So and and it's the timing on it's really tight. So like it's like almost immediately. So there's there's no way you could get an advantage on it or anything like that. But you spawn and you don't spawn dead. Which is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, that was one of them. Uh, the instant action. Um, it doesn't send you to cut off territory. Um, we were we were having some issue with that. Join combat. Oh, sorry. Join <laughs> combat. Yes. Formerly known as instant. Yeah, Formerly sure. known as instant. It's, there's like three names for it in the code, anyways. <laughs> um, there was an, there was a bug where when you were queued into the faction queue for a continent, um, if it was too full, and you switched zones for whatever reason, it would drop you. That doesn't happen anymore. Um, outside of that, uh, we've been doing some performance profiling to see what sort of like hitches happen on the client, and we're going to be looking to server performance and that sort of thing. Yep. Um, and that's all been really interesting, and we've got some good leads on some good fixes. Cool. Yeah. Um, outside of all of that, uh, there's some interpolation code that uh, 
is an H1Z1 that that'll mm-hmm. make yeah. it so you can like like instead of you know kind of twitching to different spots it'll be like smoother it'll be more accurate to what your players actually right. doing but unfortunately the H1Z1 code and the planet side 2 code are very different so bringing code from one to the other is proving to be a lot more involved than uh, I originally hoped it would be yeah. So that's the goal, is uh, is trying to port over some of that interpolation code mm-hmm. so that we um, can alleviate some of the issues pl- players have with uh, with dashing, you know, across this, the screen. Uh, so and that's that's kind of the long and the short of it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's right on. That's, that's a good. lot of stuff. And what's what's interesting is that most of the stuff, like, is it, not really forward facing. You know, it's it's kind of just hidden in behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. And I, I know we mentioned this a lot, but there's there's just so much that goes on uh, behind the scenes that. Um, yeah, this this is just scratching the surface. I just right. figured I'd call those out specifically because those yeah. are kind of pain points for some people. So. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Uh, well, let's do another giveaway. Yeah. So be active in chat. Say something nice about Paul, maybe. And uh, we'll be doing one of those raffles, and we'll let you guys know who the winner is in a moment. I've mm-hmm. used up all my karma. Used up all your karma for, <laughs> for winning <laughs> raffles? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so... Those uh, with aerial anomaly, it's been pretty successful, I think, and, yeah. and we're going to be making improvements to it and make it sort of have more long-term sort of staying power that it doesn't just have a honeymoon phase on it. What's some? What's one of the next sort of events that we're bringing to the game? Uh, let's see. So the next one that's currently being worked on uh, after we, or maybe in tandem with making some adjustments to aerial anomalies, is uh, sort of a destruction derby. I think we talked about this maybe do last stream, like kind of. Yeah, I think we. Or maybe we, it was just yeah. like a glimmer in our no, eyes. No, it, w- it was the one that was my favorite. Oh, okay. And oh, I right, right. It, yeah, I called yeah. it a death race at that point. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. Um, so uh, on the map, a, a course will appear. And what it does is uh, asks you uh, and your faction to take uh, ground vehicles and uh, collect seismic readings. Like so, all throughout uh, Indar or wherever there will be these uh, these geysers of of gas that are kind of coming up, and uh, and you need to take uh, these seismic readings. And <coughs> you do it in sequence. And sorry, this is the like the, the garbage lore reasoning behind it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, no, it totally makes sense. Um, everything must have lore. Yeah, <laughs> lore is important. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Except for the squirt yeah. guns. It's, yeah. Well, well I mean, no, it's just so hot on Indar. Yeah. yeah. No, it'll have lore yeah. too. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Um, so the uh, yeah, so racetrack. Uh, people go around. They they collect seismic readings, and it's just it's that. And every uh, if you get readings in sequence, you get points for your faction, similar to uh, aerial anomalies. Aerial anomalies, by the way, um, just so everybody is aware of the scoring process, it's one tick or one point per player per second. That's another reason. So if you have a galaxy full of people that you fly up, no. Ah, yeah, ah, that's yeah, it's per sorry. vehicle. Yep, yep, per vehicle. So, so it's not per player; it's per right. vehicle. Yeah, okay. no, that's, that's a good call it. So it's get in there and get all your vehicles in and make yeah. a big chaotic mess. Of yeah, yeah. So ESF are, are definitely a, a good way to, to kind of tip that balance, but also like having the, the support galaxies in and oh, yeah. it's just it's it's, it's very beneficial yeah. but there's um, no reason to load your galaxy up with a bunch of people to try no, to score more points no. but galaxies tend to last the longest yeah so, so they got a lot of hit the points yeah. and they got people on the guns yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah so it's it's kind of a balance but i'm sure a meta will shake out at some point oh for sure um, yeah yeah uh, but death race, death race. So you're going around, uh, and similar to the aerial anomalies, you're going to get a discount on uh, some sort of ground vehicles. Uh, not sure if it's just going to be all of the transport vehicles, or it might just be harassers, or it might just be harassers and flashes. Uh, flashes are so cheap anyway that it probably doesn't matter. Yeah. But um, yeah. but either way, uh, so we're going to do something similar like that. And also, once you go through uh, a one of the checkpoints, you get all your turbo back. <laughs> I was thinking about making it so just your your turbo is extended for this uh, event mm-hmm. as well. So maybe you're like supercharged and you just can just, can just yeah, turbo just from to one spot to another, another. Yeah. away from the wall. Yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how there, that goes. It sounds like there'll be a group of players that aren't going to participate, at least not by scoring points. Instead, yeah. they're just going to hang out near on the track with their main battle tanks and try to pick off people. Could be. Yeah, could yeah, be uh, making construction bases around the, the <laughs> capital. <laughs> yeah. uh, so trying to blockade things yeah. and stuff. The way that well, it's currently set up. But then you can't up. blockade your faction, so you got to uh, find a way for oh it. Oh, yeah. You yeah, end up no, blocking good the, yeah. 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 Well, with, really the, with the shield, vehicle, shield. Uh, vehicle gate. Yeah. Build ramps. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really excited to see how every, everything shakes down. Yeah. I'm personally going to be up on, on the shelf as a Tuscan Raider with like a big rocket launcher. Yeah. It's going to be great. Cool. All right, so that's that's probably the next one. Uh, we got a winner for that raffle. It's a Via Techno. 
Is that am I saying that right? Vill- Villa, okay. Villa, Villa Techno. Via Tech. I I don't speak Italian. Um, and then also we got a question on how soon are the spawn changes going to be ready? Yeah, how soon are they going to be ready? Oh yeah, guys? just like what is yeah, it? A couple of weeks. Yeah. Just like it'll take like a couple minutes. Yeah, probably. Pull some OT yeah, this weekend. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you know it's like I said, it's kind of an involved process. Yeah. And like uh, you know, we, like with the experience system, it's pretty core, so it's pretty right. important. So yeah. we don't want to mess it up. Yeah, so, so it also involves uh, exploration because it's. Uh, Uncharted waters, kind of, sort of. Yeah, like we've I touched mean, some areas, but but never, you know, yeah, in the for sure. There, with this depth, it's it's going to involve, you know, like me to know top to bottom exactly how everything works, and yeah. that always takes some time and right. that sort of thing. So yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll like see pretty much as soon as we can. I right. mean, as as with yeah. anything. So the the most important part to to take away is that it is it is a focus right now. Uh, we feel that this is an important part of getting the game to uh, a place that feels better for all players. Uh, so, so we do want to take the time to do it, um, and uh, we we also don't want to rush it out the door. So this is this is important. But, um, it, but it is basically our, one of our highest priority things to work on right yep. now. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. a big change. It's uh, going to be it's going to be good. We yeah. want we want to bring it out as soon as possible. Is the is the answer to that question? Of course. Uh, so, but uh, we we, we're, we're right. not going to rush it out. <laughs> so uh, it maybe in a couple of months uh, would probably be a really sort of honest and uh, Cons- reali- re- realistic, estimate. yeah. So I think this will fit here. What's that? I think it will. Let's kick it over to your screen. Oh yes, for the next thing. Wait, wait, hold on. Ah. No, okay, you don't no, 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 show no, it's it fine. It's fine. Okay. Well, I just I need more. I need more runway. You need more runway. Nothing to see here. Just yeah. smoke and mirrors. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> so I'm not saying. I'm not saying Bastion Fleet Carrier, but <laughs> 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 like Bastion Fleet Carrier. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, you know oh, I wonder if it has some jacked. I think I, I think I jacked up the the handling on it. That's fine. No, it's fine. Oh, uh, you know, it's fine. Right now, it's just using uh, Galaxy handling, and I think it's uh, a little bit modified to be jacked up. But it's not gonna fly like this. You're not gonna get to fly it. You're not. You're really not. I mean, at least Probably not initially. Not. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly not. Is it uh, upside down or? Oh, there yeah. You go. But yeah. we are, he's just trying to get some. Yeah, trying to get some air. I want to see that, that view. The, the, the top <laughs> down view. Yeah, let's do. Uh, so, oh, hey, the turrets are back. <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd jack this up. Well, I probably did. It's fine now. Anyway, so there are some. Uh, we're, you know, toying with getting turrets uh, set up on the Bastion Fleet Carrier and being able to, to, to use it as a vehicle to, you know, climb inside. Uh, thoughts on getting it um, into the game at the initially, probably on rails. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it'll and be attached to an event, probably. You know, I was thinking that I. Uh, so since meltdown alerts are, like, w- one and a half hours now, it would be nice to have a faction. Pause. Pause. I wanna. I wanna. <laughs> oh, I wanna yeah. be part of it. Where'd you go? <laughs> I just wanna, oh, you can't see me. Where'd you go? No, I you, don't know. You LOD'd out or something. Oh. Oh yeah, I updated the model. I maybe didn't update the LODs. Oh, I saw you for a second there. Okay. Anyway, so um <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get you. He's gonna use his squirt gun oh. to bring down the bastion. <laughs> Where is he? I don't see him. He's off to the right side. Are you gonna shoot me down? No, I mean. <laughs> you can try. I got God mode on. No. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna you. work. <laughs> I can't find you. All right, okay. while these guys are messing around, let's do one more giveaway. Yeah. So yeah. Well. But uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll probably Oop. bring the Bastion Fleet Carrier up. It, it only has collision in the middle right now. Again, it's using the, the Galaxy's collision. Looks pretty good, though. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Um, it'll be really interesting to, to be able to bring these things below the flight ceiling and, and have them cruising around. But uh, if, if they do appear, it'd be nice to, to have outfits, maybe, or maybe factions be able to contribute to resources to then uh, unleash a Bastion during yep. the Meltdown event. Like that could be, so it creates like a, a sub objective. And we're learning a lot about how massive air battles will work by looking at the data that's coming from aerial anomalies. Yeah, so, for sure. Uh, there is a little bit of method to our madness. Yeah, but it's mostly just madness. It's mostly madness. <laughs> <laughs> we're all mad here. Yeah. Cool. Slightly mad. All right. Uh, we got a winner for our last raffle. It's one bad kill. Yeah. Congratulations. Is that a Joker reference? It only takes one bad kill. Mm, maybe. I don't know. We'll that's never know. That's his thing. I don't know. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. Did we want to squeeze another couple questions in? Do we have any more questions? Any more questions, Roxy? Any questions at all, Roxy? 
Oh, what, Paul, where'd you get that shirt? Oh, I actually got it uh, at a wedding. I stood in my friend's uh, uh, wedding, and it was, like, cosmic-themed, and he's a big fan of cats, and so is his wife, so... Sorry, bit of an exclusive, but I'm I'm glad that you guys like it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Are there are there, are there any questions <laughs> related to the game? No, hey, that's a good uh, question. <laughs> that's a good question. I got no problem answering questions like that. Why? <laughs> what? I don't understand. Outfit don't alliances or sister squads? Yeah, the first part's unrelated. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay. That makes more sense. Okay. Uh, outfit alliances, uh, yes, we would want to do that. Uh, sister squads, that, that's more like companies. Yeah. Um, it's probably a possibility. Uh, but wasn't part of our current plans for no, squad. And, you know, the Something we want to do, though. Well, yeah, possibly. Well, so I, I think so. For some of the outfit reworks? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah. Outf outfits, for sure. Like uh, getting alliances in would be. Would be uh, pretty massive, and uh, actually, I, I I don't know if anybody caught it. Maybe they did in the doc, but it, it mentions outfit alliances in that spawn document. Oh, it does. So <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's why they're calling it out as a maybe, question already. Maybe. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I wonder if outfit alliances implies something else that we're gonna be thinking about doing with outfits. But we'll uh, we won't get into into any more okay detail than that. We're so secretive. Oh, I love it. It's fun. It is fun because for us this, yeah. specifically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is fun for us. <laughs> So when asked if, if we watch uh, Community Smash ever, he, he Yeah, I watched the last one for sure. That one was great. And uh, seeing some of the highlights from it uh, were, were amazing. The, the thing that I get the most sort of uh, enjoyment from watching about Community Spl Smash is how the decisions are made about how to deploy resources. Uh, it's absolutely amazing to see Planetside played at such a high level. Because normally uh, when you're playing on live, it's... It's pretty chaotic, right? Like uh, at the outfit level, there's people doing some pretty amazing stuff and some pretty amazing coordination, and it, it just comes across as super overpowered. But when both sides, or when all sides of, of a fight are performing at such high levels of, of precision and organization, it's just incredible to see. So it's it's planet side at its best for sure. Yeah, no, I, I I believe that as well. And uh, the thing about Server Smash is that everybody's moving toward the same goal. Yeah, which is. Yeah, if there's it's anything it's that's a, a little game. frustrating from watching it, it's the fact that there, it's such a tug of war that doesn't seem to be moving anywhere. But that's that it just it, it proves how sort of well played both sides are are are, are performing their strategies. So yeah, it's pretty exciting. I know that uh, a couple of us are going to be participating in the next one, which is Saturday. If I'm yeah tomorrow correct. Oh yeah, that from, is tomorrow from one oh, to yeah. two. Happy Friday. 30 p.m. Yeah, happy Friday <laughs> to you. Are we allowed to say who's participating? Yeah, you're cool with that? Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, Drew and I are. Yeah. And I'll be there. And I'll just be probably. harassing people in chat, probably. Oh, uh, you know. And okay. probably making sure that no uh, events automatically or like an aer aerial anomaly doesn't start on accident or anything yeah, I can like that. Do that. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I think the um, the admins have the controls over uh, alerts. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. Cool. I believe so. Where so. are you? Any news on the new player experience? <laughs> um, I'm you by laugh, the crown, man. You laugh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm by the crown. There, okay. Yeah, no, Paul's looking for me. He just oh, has okay. no idea. He's just scouring. Okay, you're you're not laughing about new player <laughs> Sorry. experience. Sorry. No. no, no, yeah, yeah, new player experience. Um, So, uh, hey, just this update or this uh, this coming hotfix we have uh, fixed for the tutorial vehicle gate shield so it won't look jacked up anymore. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, actually it changed the skybox as well, so it's a little bit less depressing. Yep. Um, what else? The uh, We have... Oop. <laughs> So I don't fly. What? Oh, you're dead. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Okay, um, and uh, we we do have some interesting uh, rail tech kind of coming in. So it'll help out with getting uh, tutorials into uh, well tutorials and like doing some moving NPCs and that sort of thing. Uh, also, the the prototyping of Destruction Derby is actually uh, that's that's me um, doing an, an alert version of a tutorial that, that yep. I would like to do. I just have one where players can go around the track and then like learn. Um, I got to throw that god on, man. Yeah, I turned it off. I didn't want to be too <laughs> cheaty. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's we we want to make tutorial modules. Um, it's it's been neglected. Uh, if I'm if I'm being honest, uh, it's a, a huge priority. But there's there's been so much in the way. Um, I don't want to say in the way. 
No. It's There's just, been other things yeah. that have taken priority yes. over it. Yeah, correct. There's a lot. There, we want to do all the, the things, and we will eventually. Just yeah. some things yeah. need to be focused we'll, on first. Yeah, yes. and there's certainly yeah tech that we're we're kind of um, reliant on for for the new flare tutorial stuff. So yep. slow process, but still want uh, still want to get it yep. done at some point. Uh, we'll just finish up with this as the last question. Sure. Yeah. Uh, when when are more Doku guns coming? Uh, Doku guns. So carbines probably next. Yes. Assault rifles after that, mm -hmm. and then. Um, then who knows? Maybe more. Who knows? Maybe more. But those are the next two. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Okay. We, we won't get into any more yeah, detail. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming to another Planet Side 2 stream. Uh, we hope you guys are excited about the stuff that we're working on. Yeah. We're definitely oh, we uh, stoked that you guys are in, uh, really liking the most uh, recent game update. And uh, like I said at the beginning of the stream, there's a hot fix coming uh, probably on Tuesday of next week. And uh, it's going to deal with a lot of the problems that you guys uh, have seen in this uh, latest game update. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.